Welcome to the Emerge Podcast, where Ronnie Doss shares insights regarding life, leadership, and personal development. For more of our resources, visit RonnieDoss.com. Now, let's join the podcast. Hi there, this is Ronnie Doss. My team and I are really excited that you decided to stop by. You know, I've spent the last decade working with individuals from all over the world to help them transform their thinking and enhance their life experience. Not only do I train teams at some of the most successful companies and organizations in the world, I offer coaching programs specifically designed for individuals much like yourself that are committed to increasing productivity and achieving personal goals. I've had powerful mentors along the way that have taught me principles that absolutely shifted how I was living my life, and those principles I want to share with you. My passion is people, and there's nothing more exciting than seeing a life transformed for the better. This is what I've decided to give my life to. So hop over to RonnieDoss.com to check out some of the video programs I personally designed to help you build stronger relationships, improve your communication skills, and develop an intentional mindset. I know these resources will assist you in finding a greater sense of purpose, staying focused on what matters, and breaking through old mental barriers. Get ready. This is your time. So first things first, let me say thank you to all of you that have emailed us recently that you shared this podcast and all that stuff. I was talking to a team earlier today. It's been awesome. I mean that. It's really cool. We're getting messages from all over the place of people saying, hey, we're listening to your stuff. The content's changing how we think. This is what's going on. We're grateful for you. And so thank you guys for those messages. Info at DOSteam.com. If you didn't know that, you can email us, info at DOSteam.com. Let us know what you'd like for us to talk about, anything you're getting out of it. That's what it's about. So first things first, I wanted to say that. Now, the episode today, here's what we're going to talk about. It's a great question. I think it's worth writing down. Write it down unless you're driving or doing something like that. Don't. If you're operating heavy machinery, please don't write this down. But it's a great question, right? If you want better answers, ask better questions. I believe the next level, the door is opened up with the key called a question. Here's the question for you. What if moving forward, from 2020, like 2020 this year is a reset, because this is when we're recording this, obviously, but it was a reset. Moving forward, what if you created everything that you specifically wanted? Specific. Wouldn't you get really clear then, specifically what it is that you wanted? Like, what if you're going to really produce that? What if I had this magic wand, I waved it over your shoulder or your head, and I said, from now on, you will get specifically what you want, but at least you have to know what you want. Because what happens, you've heard the quote, right, where people say, it's not that we aim too high and we miss. It's that we aim too low and we hit it every single time. Some of us have hit targets dead on that are absolutely mediocre, average, comfortable, complacent targets in different areas. Health, relationships, money, business, all these things. Like, we're hitting this target. We got this thing called mediocrity in that area down. And I don't know what mediocrity is for you. I don't. I always say that. I don't. But when you look in the mirror, you know something that maybe you've had a very casual approach to. And so what could that be? Like maybe you've been casually approaching your physical health, believing that at some point when all the gyms open back up after this COVID stuff, that then you're really going to get fit. But you're not doing anything right now. Like you're not. You're just waiting on one day. I wrote this down earlier today. If you wait to aim, ultimately you're aiming at waiting. Because that's all you're going to get. You just keep waiting. Waiting's a four-letter word, right? Wait is, at least, not waiting. That's a seven-letter word, which we know seven-letter words. But no, it's a four-letter word. You know, we kind of say it's a four-letter word. It's like profanity. Like, that was a four-letter word. To me, wait is a four-letter word. I don't wait a lot. Now, can I be patient? Sure, absolutely. Am I patient with a lot of things? Absolutely. I have kids. you got to be patient sometimes. They're not, they're not moving at the pace you want them to. you got to be patient. Having a business, you got to be patient with it. But I believe getting clear on what we want and what we're specific about doing may be the best thing that we could ever do for us and for what it is that we're making happen in our life. Because we're going to make some things happen, but don't you think that if we wanted to make something really awesome happen, like building a house, we'd need to put down some plans? Like, have you written down, like, this is what I am going to do tomorrow. I'm going to attack it. I mean, and really get clear because this is what I want and this is what needs to happen. And then you get really, really clear and you go for it. Like, wouldn't that start to cause you to feel just a little more inspired, a little bit better, right? What happens in life, it's that the the really great thing that we could produce, right, because of all the distractions and all the busy and all the stuff and the phones and the emails and the texts and the social media don't even get me into all that. My wife and I have been talking a lot about that. Just had a great conversation this past weekend. Good, my, my good friend Fred, I was just talking about how on some levels I just 
don't like social media. It's like we're always thinking about what we need to, let me own it. I, it's like, all right, what do I need to post? What do I need to be putting out there for us, for the brand, for the company? And in that, that consideration, it can consume so much creative energy that we could use towards the thing that we say that we want. I just don't think most people want a huge following on social media simply for the sake of a huge following. Most people want to do something with that following, move them into something. But it can be all-consuming, and you're thinking about what you need to post and what people are going to think and how many likes you get and all that stuff. I know I've done that before, just being honest. I mean, you, you think about those things. I heard Wayne Dyer talking about being an author, and he was always wanting his wife to check the bestseller list. Where are we at? Did we move up? Did we move up? It consumed him so much that that became his life for a while. And finally, he realized, man, this just isn't worth it. You know, and we get consumed with these things that keep us busy, but it's not specifically, specifically what we want to create. There's this byproduct that goes on. And so we've got to get control of our aim, so to speak, or else the lack of aim is going to get control of us, going to get control of our time. And the next thing you know, we're living by default instead of design. You've heard me say these things, right? Like this is, this is very, very important. And the reason it's so important and why I'm talking about teams with this, guys, is because, you know, there's so much happening right now. And if you deal with other human beings at all, you have any relationships at all, there's a chance that you're feeling some stress from some of the things that are going on. Like you might be like, it's not bothering me, but you deal with people who it is bothering. And so in essence, you deal with that. And over time, it can bother you. It may not be direct. It could be an indirect bother. And it becomes a very subtle energy and an attitude that you take on because the people that you work with are really a bit frustrated or worried or down. I think all of us in some ways are dealing with that. So it's so easy to feel all that and stop being clear on what it is we want to make happen. And so the old saying of it's not that we aim too high and miss, it's that we aim too low and hit it. I think that this could be so true for right now. I'm talking to teams about reaching and, you know, when things are oftentimes unstable or we feel like it's like walking across a tightrope bridge or anything like that, or even walking down some stairs, if you feel like you're a little bit off balance or something, what's the first thing you do? You reach to the side and you grab the rail. Well, reaching to the side gives you a bit of stability, but we got to make sure that we're reaching forward also so that when we move through some of the confusion or the challenge or the circumstances that we're facing, that we're still better not just in wisdom, but ultimately about creating also. Because I know some people that got some great wisdom, but if you're not aligning that wisdom with some outcome that you want, I'm not just talking about a goal, because as I've said, like goals sometimes get confused with wishes. Wishes don't come true. But what if you align wisdom that you're getting, like what you're hearing here to some specific outcome, and you're like, this is what I'm going to make happen. I heard somebody say one time that, you know, birds fly south because that's all they know to do. Like, they, they can't do anything else. They fly south. It's what they do. But you and I, we're very conscious beings. We can make a shift at any time. We can change the direction that we're focused on. We, we can change what it is that we're aiming at. And so my question for you is, what are you aiming at? Like, what's your approach? Like, what are you believing for? And are you willing to rapidly make some choices that will help you get control of your daily approach? before you really get out of control. Because sometimes the further we move down the road, the more difficult it can be to get control of the things in our life. Now, yes, it starts with a choice, but when you've made choices that aren't that good, sometimes they produce circumstances that are hard to or more difficult to overcome. And you might say, well, man, that's been me, Ronnie. I've made some choices, and, and now I'm dealing with some circumstances. Well, here's the deal. Those circumstances that you're producing are actually this, this opportunity for you to make some adjustments in you so you don't keep producing the same results over and over again. You know, you feel that pain because you got some circumstances that suck, and all of us have circumstances at times that suck, but I said this the other day to a team. I said, you know, pain is not meant to be a blade that cuts you. It's simply meant to be a mirror that reflects you, and pain can show you something that you need to reflect on and make an adjustment to. And maybe the pain of mediocrity or, or the pain of settling, it's really bothered you, but right now there's an opportunity for you instead of using it as a blade to keep cutting yourself and putting yourself down and hurting you, maybe you just use it as a mirror and you hold it in front of you and you see the reflection of you and you say, today I'm going to aim at this. And you start simple. It's like this is the first step and this will be the second step. 
and I'm going for it. And I'm not going to let anything stop me on that first step. And that first step becomes like this domino that starts knocking over all this other stuff. And you move forward towards something, something that inspires you to feel like your life is working. It doesn't have to be everything, but it's something. And that's a start. So the question is, right, what, what would you do if you knew you were going to get what you wanted? what you said was going to be your outcome. Wouldn't you take a little extra time, write it out, get really specific. I talk about the pictures all the time that we create. If you haven't heard any of this stuff, go back, listen to the episodes. I'm telling you, pictures matter. Getting clear on what you want to create, the outcome that you're going to have. Maybe one of the best things that you'll do for you right now during this crazy time. And I'm telling you, it is crazy. But you know what? It's okay to lose your mind a bit and get clear on where you want to be in the future. People might call you crazy. They may not understand it right now. You may act a little different. Your attitude's a little different because everybody else has got their head down. But you say, you know what? I'm reaching for something better. I'm going to keep aiming for better. And over time, I believe with all my heart, because you are so powerful. We're powerful. I'm powerful. This is what it is. That over time, if you will continue to aim at something with some real clarity and real specificity, you're going to hit that target. And when you do, you're going to say, yes, this is me. What can I do next? And that's a very powerful thing. This is Ronnie Doss. Thank you guys so much for this. Thanks again for being on. Please share this. You guys are amazing. And if you need to email us, please do so, info at DossTeam.com. I look forward to talking to you guys again very, very soon. Take care.